Hi everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another installment of the 3 in 30 alphabet challenge that of course is hosted by Tina who is Shabby Dabby Duda here on YouTube. I love to say her channel name. If you are not familiar with Tina, you will find her uh, channel linked in the description box below. She is such an amazing crafter and I think this is such a very cool challenge. So um, she is all the way up to the letter N. So so our mission is to create three projects in 30 minutes and this week I am doing the letter or tonight I'm doing the letter N which is for nature um, I think I said that already but with nature I was thinking about fall themed projects so I've been doing a lot of Halloween things and I've kind of been itching to get into some fall so um, I thought this would be great now sitting here in front of me I have had some technical difficulties tonight so we are gonna try this one more time I haven't been able to get beyond this first tag so I attempted to use this pad which is really older it did not take um, the embossing powder well so that's what I was trying to do and then here I was playing around with some different colors because because I'm really wanting to do something kind of in rose gold themes, kind of more roughly along the lines of this. Um, I forget what happened here when I ended up stopping. Oh, because I think my camera, my uh, phone, I had to go and delete some things off of it. And then I realized I wasn't filming anymore after I completed this tag. So we are gonna go back to the drawing board, create something like this again in our 30 minutes. And I think this time I'm gonna go with a gold. I've just been having some issues with the embossing. It's not something I do very often. Um, some people make it look so easy. I gotta struggle with it a little more. Okay, so enough of the chit chat. We are going to put 30 minutes on our clock start and I am going to grab a brand new tag here and um, I have this older Stampin' Up! Um, it's like a French text and I am going to just use some black ink and I'm not going to put this on too thick because well I guess let's do the tag and I'm going to kind of not pressed down all the way. I kind of want it to not be a solid. Okay, just get a little color on there. I like that. And then the bottom, of course, my tag is a little bit longer. All right, and that's a little bit heavier on the bottom, but I think that is okay. So let us go ahead and move this aside, and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, use this stamp, which is an older Stampin' Up! Lovely as a tree-themed set. I was actually inspired by um, Shell, Shelly Radcliffe. Um, she was actually doing, that is her channel name. I'm going to link my inspiration um, video um, below that Shelly did. And um, she actually did some book pages. This is the ink I'm using in the gold, the Delicata. Um, Golden Glitz. Um, but she had created some gorgeous tags using this stamp. And um, she was actually using gorgeous fall colors um, with book pages. And I think she had some coffee dyed paper. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if my embossing powder is going to stick, but let's give it a whirl. This stamp, I think, is worn out. I've had it for years in a few places. And that's kind of been one of my struggles is getting the uh, embossing powder to stick everywhere it needs to. But... Let's see what happens, shall we? And I don't know if all my powder got right there on that spot. Just gonna add a little bit more on there. Put this back into our container. So I was really inspired um, and thinking rose gold, kind of as far as my projects were concerned, because I recently picked up some gold glitter, or well, glitter paper at Hobby Lobby that is called Blush Gold and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in this light very well. Got it at Hobby Lobby and it has blush and gold glitter on this glitter paper and I think it is gorgeous. All right, so let us <coughs> excuse me, get to the embossing. Let's heat this gun up a little bit. 
And let's see if we can melt this embossing powder this time. We'll take a second. I think no matter how much you do this, it is such a magical effect. Oh yeah, that is working fine. All right. It's been a while since I've embossed anything, and I'm going to go ahead and unplug that because I don't think I'm going to emboss anything else, and I'm going to plug in my charger even though my clock is running. Did I set the clock? I think I did. Yes, we did. Okay, time is running. All right, I'm gonna move this just a moment so that I can add, okay, some charging. All right, so um, as I mentioned, I really wanted some rose gold effects here. So I've got this Victorian velvet and the tattered rose, but I think I'm gonna go with this Victorian velvet and I've got a sponge here, an artist sponge. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that color and ink it around the edges. I did this earlier and I was not a fan of this, but the next step of this is grabbing the delicata, the gold, and we're gonna go right over that Victorian velvet and it kind of turns to rose gold. Really, really pretty effect. And then I'm going to take and I think just add some gold here and there. I think I really wished my embossing was working a little better with the pink on the tree, but this is okay. In my head, I really want some more pink. So what I am gonna do is I've also got this little leaf that was in this stamp set. Again, this is a really old stamp set by Stampin' Up. Um, it's labeled 2001. This was in their catalog for years and it's not, and they just recently took it out, I think in the last year or two. They have something else similar, but this tree, I have used it a ton over the years. All right, and uh, I'm going to use this little leaf and I'm gonna add that beautiful pink tone and I think I'm gonna try to add some in the gold as well. Let's try that. Oh, that's pretty. This delicata ink is just gorgeous and I don't want to take away too much and you know what I'm going to do I already feel like I have too many leaves on there but um I have my favorite stamp which I'm not gonna put my hands on right now am I my area was a hot mess and then I tidied it up and I'm not entirely sure where it went. Okay, I am going to go ahead and not worry about that right now. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I wanted to add some kind of speckles to this. If my stamp shows up, I will be very excited but I don't think I'm going to pick it out right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna add some more of the pink tones in. I think that's what I am missing here. Oh my goodness, yes. Distress ink, it's magic, right? And this one is not even an oxide. Okay, that's giving me more of the pink that I was looking for. All right. And then we've got our tree on there. So that's kind of where we're at. Let's see, I've got a little more of this gold. All right, that's kind of pretty. Not missing the speckles. So if we come in and add our leaves, I have to remember we are doing <laughs> the three and 30 challenge. Um, Okay, that's kind of pretty. All right, we're gonna go with it. It's our three and 30. 
I think sometimes when we create things, it doesn't always have to be our favorite. Let's see, I wanna get these on here. Layer them up just right, otherwise I tend to not like it as well. I gotta get my leaves in the right position. Sometimes it takes me a hot minute. Okay, but I have gotta remember that we are doing this challenge of three and 30 minutes, and I have attempted to do this tag, like I said, a few times, so let's, Let's pull this one together. I think this is a great non-traditional color twist on the fall theme. And I really enjoy um, non-traditional colors. I did that last year too. I was using a lot of turquoises and things. It seems like, okay, Dawn, just put it down there, but it's got to be just in the right place. Okay, I'm getting some glue here. I'm going to use my t-shirt just to wipe that off. I know it dries clear, but I don't want um, the foil to be dulled because it's such a gorgeous rose gold. All right, so there we go. And then I've got a word sticker here. I think these are some Tim, Tim Holtz words and it said the gold that glittered. And I'm going to take, hmm, let's see if we've got some more pink on here. What is this Victorian velvet that I'm using? I'm gonna get a little bit of color off that sponge. The gold that glittered. And I don't think this is going to stand out a lot, but it's going to give us a little bit of something, I think. <clears throat> All right. Oh my goodness. Timer. <laughs> I did that the other, last night, I guess. Okay. I don't know if this is my favorite tag in the world. I almost wish this was pink, but I might come back and try another go of this. Not in the 3 and 30, but come back with maybe some more pink tags because that's what I'm feeling. So here is tag or a project number one. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. This was the other attempt once I stopped filming. Um, I still don't know if I love either one, but you know how you have something in your head and it really is, you're kind of there, but not completely, but it's an awesome attempt. And definitely check out Shelly's um, video if you do want to be inspired by her wonderful fall tags. All right. Let's see, the second project that I'm going to do. All right, this one I have been waiting to do. Let me see, I'm going to flip this over because this is kind of covered in embossing powder. All right, I have this awesome little die. Sunny Studio, it is called Nutty For You. I saw Deb Halk pick this up. I had picked up some other Sunny Studio um, products and I did not see this acorn. And then I saw her pick it up. So I'm just going to make one acorn just to try it out. I went ahead to prepare and ran it through the die cutting machine. Um, so I did leave some of these pieces together when I die cut them. Here's the whole little face and it's got a word nutty. Here's the outline of the acorn. And then this piece here, which is the topper, um, I should take this center out, but I actually left it in. So when I did that, it should cut in two pieces, but I left it together and it just came out in one piece like this. And I just went ahead and cut everything out in um, a craft color. It is, um, what is it? It is Stamp It Up Crumb Cake, um, that craft shade. So I, when I was digging through my... Um, background stamps. I found this. This is really old Stampin' Up! It is called Simple Plaid. So um, I just cut this out in craft. So I'm going to um, ink this plaid up onto this um, unicorn. And then something else I did is I wanted to try this out. I put the um, die. I actually took a folded piece of paper and then I stopped the paper just about there so it would not cut and this would actually make 
a little bitty card. So <laughs> I'm actually not going to create this tonight because I only cut out one um, topper and I want, really want to make this acorn. So I'm just going to do one and then come back and play with some acorns as well. But um, nature, acorns, yes. Cute little stamp here. Oh my goodness, yes. And then I do have the little pieces that are the face um, cut out here as well. So that I did go ahead and prepare for. So I've got this brilliant ink called Coffee Bean. It's got a little more red to it. And I am going to go ahead and color. It's been a while since I used this, so I hope this ink goes on well because, oh my goodness, I've had my challenges trying to craft tonight. All right, and forgive me, I'm working on a card table, so I know that is moving around a little bit. I need to get something sturdier here to work on. All right, let us set this aside, and I'm going to go ahead and put our acorn on here and I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper and just kind of rub that along so it picks up that ink which I'm getting on my fingers all right let's carefully pick that up oh my goodness that is cute okay I'm gonna set this stamp aside and having trouble sitting that aside and then this here also came out in the craft and what I thought I would do is just kind of color color that up well I don't know if this was such a hot idea or not but it seemed like a good idea at the time oh my goodness I think let's see let me grab our little sponge here Think it'll look good once we get all the ink colored up on there see it there's a lot of red tone in this brown it is called coffee bean brilliance brilliance ink and that went on pretty well i was excited to play with this um stamp okay i am kind of messy here. My little baby wipes are kind of drying out. I don't use them very often. I kind of forget I'm here. I've got some stamp cleaner that I'm just going to put on my hands here. All right. Look how cute that is. That worked out okay. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the little top of our unicorn on unicorn <laughs> it's an acorn oh my goodness my time is counting down however my last project I think is going to be pretty simple I'm just applying it you know one of those little sticker machines would be good for this piece <laughs> I have one in this room somewhere I've never used it. I actually got it from my daughter. I don't know that she's used it either. But it would be good for her, this with all the little pieces, wouldn't it? Xyron machine? I think that's what it's called. Okay. I am so excited. This little acorn is going to be the cutest thing ever. Oh no, getting my glue everywhere. Okay, and the art glitter glue dries pretty quickly and it does dry clear, so you don't have to worry about the little glue dabs you see. All right. Cuteness. All right. Um, there's also the word nutty here. This is also something that came, I think it puts like a little, I wonder going to add color to this little piece. I guess it's like a little shine on the face. I don't know if I actually want to use this piece or not. I guess I can decide if I like it or not. So let's see. I think these two pieces, I don't, you know what? I don't want to use that. I'm not a fan of that. Goodbye. Um, I did cut out this pink for the cheeks. I actually went, if you Google some images of this. It is called, um, what is it, Sunny Studio? Oh my gosh, the jinx are adorable. Um, nutty for you. Okay, there should be a smile here, but I'm not seeing it. There it is. Okay. 
these are some tiny, tiny pieces. All right, and then the little eyes. Here's an eye. And here's an eye. <laughs> this is the cutest thing. <laughs> and I think they gave me eyebrows. Do we want to use the eyebrows? Maybe we do. Gonna have to, um, I don't know that that's an eyebrow. That looks like a much smaller piece. What else do I have in here? Oh yeah, okay, maybe that was something else. I don't think I need the eyebrows either. I'm just gonna go straight on for the face. Okay. Let's see, what do I have up here? I need a little something to help me. Deal with these little pieces. Let's see if this will work. Okay, this is my little jewel picker. So maybe it'll work for our little tiny pieces here. So, yes! All right, so. Going to apply the glue to the eye, and then I'm going to take, the, hopefully, the eye to the paper. Oh my heavens. Okay, all these little pieces give me difficulties. Okay, one eyeball is down. Let's go ahead and try this this way. I hope I have it in the right position. Are his eyes a little close together? Okay, remember that dries clear. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're going for it. Okay, so let's see. This little mouth needs some glue. You know, a glue stick or something like that would be good here. So, all right. I didn't think about these teeny tiny pieces. It's probably one thing I don't play with die cuts too much. I have die cuts, but oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Let's say stay. All right, and we're gonna try these cheeks. Really, really cute. One cheek. Two cheeks. Okay, we are below our 10 minute mark. Okay, I almost wonder if he needs a nose, but he didn't really come with a nose. Let's see. Let's take a quick peek. Um, Sunny, I know I'm wasting my time. I should not be doing this. Sunny Studio, nutty for you. Go. Oh, let's see. All right. Oh. Okay. They kind of use like enamel dots and his mouth is a lot higher. Well, that's my first attempt. So there he is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to set this aside and get on to our third project. Okay. So we've done a tag, a unicorn. So my last one is a card. Oop, let's go back to our timer we have seven minutes and 42 seconds all right so the last piece i'm going to make a card and a while back i got this piece of paper to simple stories autumn splendor i actually got two sheets of this and oh my goodness this paper is gorgeous it's a 12 by 12. i ordered it from scrapbook.com i didn't order the whole kit i just got these sheets and i love this collage effect so i ordered two of them and i went ahead and cut them up 
into basically journal size cards so um, because there was so much going on I wasn't sure how I wanted to use them so I just basically cut them into six by four pieces so that one's really pretty too but I really was loving this little image here so I think I'm gonna make a card out of this now I was um, I found this piece of cardstock in my stash. I've got a lot of older um, Stampin' Up colors, um, and I don't know what this is called, but it's kind of like a blushy, nudie pink color. And uh, one, uh, I actually cut this down earlier when my when my video had stopped playing, and I think um, I've already got this card cut. This is a six by four, and this is maybe not quite a quarter an inch bigger um, for a very small border so I'm gonna go ahead and use this base that I've already cut and then we are just going to create um, I think a simple card here and I'm gonna go ahead and move my scrap piece of paper out of the way and I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this Victorian velvet it's kind of amazing um, the colors and if you see kind of like these plums and pinks through here this is kind of perfect. So I am going to use this Victorian velvet and I'm going to edge a little color around here just to make that pop off the page a little bit. Maybe I should have went brown. I don't know. I was, I'm really liking this Victorian velvet. That's okay. I don't know if I'm crazy about the color that I just put around there, but we're going with it. You know, I was really loving these projects when I was thinking about them, but like in reality, I don't know, they're not my favorite, but that's all right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece of paper down to the card base. And you know, this is kind of a non-traditional size. I usually have made A2 cards, you can make five by sevens. I really like small cards that are like a three and a half by five. I think they're a fun size, but I've kind of been doing like this four by six size um, recently, and I kind of really like that. I feel like I'm cheating a little bit using my pre-made card base, but I've had some issues putting my projects together tonight, so I'm not going to sweat it too much, and I feel like my hands are really messy, and I don't want to get ink all over the back of my, and look, that's not even quite straight. Okay, we're not going to worry about that too much, and oh my goodness, I used up my rose gold leaves. Oh no, there's one left. Woo! I would have been so sad. So I've got the rose gold in the foil and the blush gold in the glitter. And I think I'm going to place those about like that. And let's see, I've got a couple of circle punches here. I've had these forever from Stampin' Up. Let's see, I have a small stamp somewhere here that says, thinking of you. And I've got a little Let's see. I think this was my scrap that I used earlier. I'm going to go ahead and rip that off. And I'm going to stamp Thinking of You in some black ink. Thinking of You. I love little bitty sentiments. And then I've got this one and a quarter inch punch. Yes, that fits. All right, I'm going to go ahead and punch that and then I have more of this pink color of the base here and I have this one and three eighths inch that we will layer that with and something like that oh my goodness okay yeah that's really pretty thinking of you all right let's go ahead and I'm wondering if I want to put a little color around here I'm gonna go ahead and do it you know I was looking for my little stamp with the spots on it I would totally put a few of my speckles on here but Okay, don't know if I'm a huge fan of the color on there, but I 
feel like it needs something, so we're gonna go with it. All right, we're gonna layer this up on our circle. Okay, so that is what we've got. Let's go ahead and put some glue on our leaves. Oh, one minute, 53 seconds, probably a good thing that I use this pre-made card base. One leaf. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. You see how you don't even have to do any work. It's all doing the beautiful work for you. Love it. Okay, so let us layer up our leaves. Okay, right about there. I know my hands are messy. Okay, and then here, let's see, I need a piece of foam tape. So we're gonna pop that circle up. Scissors, scissors please. So let's use two pieces on there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these pieces off. 47 seconds, oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here. I'm gonna pop that up right there. And I am going to take this sentiment, give thanks for the simple things in life. Let's open up our card. I have some black ink and I really hope this stamps straight. <laughs> All right, let's stamp on our sentiment. Okay, not bad. It's not the straightest, but that's okay. I think, oh, there we go. Let's see, stop. All right, I think I'm gonna take this little rose gold leaf. Maybe I just wanna use plain gold. Hmm, you know what I'm gonna do? I know we just ran out and I'm doing, I'm playing with a couple of last things. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this little bitty leaf that I used and stamp that as kind of like my hallmark back here so I can sign my card. And then I'm gonna do a few and call that the center of my, or the middle of my card. So there you go. And there is this card really simple and easy and fast that came together really lovely I'm loving this rose gold okay and then here is our little acorn with his mouth way down there you'll have to let me know how he looks I feel like he needs a nose so I'm gonna have to try this again and then and then here is our tag the one that I finally made during the challenge and then then here was the one when I thought I was filming and was not and then a couple of fails <laughs> this gold one actually stamped out pretty good and embossed up pretty well so all right my goodness this one turned out to be my most difficult um, project to date but um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are playing along. This is something that is just kind of really fun. Some folks, they're like, oh my goodness, I don't know how you can actually create something in that time frame. I think this month, sometimes I'm very aware of the clock tonight. I felt like I was less aware just because I was struggling um, getting the things created that I wanted to tonight. But here we go. Three projects for the letter N. I'm going to go back and try to fill in um, where I can. And uh, I'm no longer going in order which sometimes I think would bother me but I'm glad to actually be kind of creating and jumping back into the project all right so I am just rambling on thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching give us a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't and until next time